welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a full posterior leg massage for the lovely Lauren. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So whenever I am um, going to be working a lot on the posterior leg, I like to do a lot of compressive work to start. And I'm going to go ahead and just move these arms so that I'm not running into them as I'm working. And um, actually a really nice way to start is just by starting with some compressions on the feet. Feels very soothing and grounding. And as I bring these compressions into the legs, I'm just gonna do one leg. I'm actually going to do the right leg. But I would encourage you to do both legs if you're doing this at home. I'm just using soft fists. landing on the hamstrings. I don't think people realize how much tight hamstrings contribute to different types of low back pain. And um, I find that just having the ham, having deep tissue worked on on the hamstrings can be like one of the most uncomfortable areas to get deeper work done. So just always really taking my time, not trying to um, go too deep too fast. This compressive work is really, really good too because it gives Lauren a sense of how tight her hamstrings are. So she's not gonna be caught off guard with um, you know, any, any kind of effleurage that I'm gonna do or more detailed work. And I'm gonna go ahead and continue with some deeper compressive work, just starting to kind of get a sense of how well these muscles are responding. This is a really nice way to do compressions as well, just starting with these muscles a little bit shorter, then lengthening them, just really sinking my hand in a little bit more as the tissue opens up a little bit. This is gonna start to feel pretty uncomfortable, so just keeping that in mind and making sure that checking in my client. This is actually really um, nice doing this dry work on the hamstrings because they, they can get really ropey feel kind of hard to not slide off of them if they're really tight.
and I like to just, you know, offer some type of break. I'm going to do a little bit of tapping in here. Tapping is such a great technique and it's easy to forget about. I think that it's not as good as other techniques, but it's really great for improving circulation, probably the best technique for that. And I am ready to go on with my oil. Grabbing enough oil for the whole leg and foot. And because the leg is so long, if you don't have a nice wide stance and shift from foot to foot, your stroke is going to feel um, really choppy. Not as smooth. So, rocking foot to foot. If this, if it feels like too much, you can always just work a smaller area. Just work the hands. work these hamstring muscles from different angles. Always when you're doing this cross fiber work, you want to be working in a diagonal so as not to make Lauren feel uncomfortable. Especially if you're trying to work on the adductors more, you want to work it even more of a diagonal. And that really that concerned about that doctor right now. It's a lot more satisfying to finish that stroke towards the attachment site in the glute but just make sure that your clients comfortable with that and I'm gonna start go ahead and shorten that muscle these muscles and I'm gonna start with a few passes more moderate pressure and then I'm going to just gradually start to sink my weight in a little bit more as I can. And I'd like to take a minute to thank a few of our patrons. I'd like to thank Philip Shaw, Al C and Christian Franklin. Thank you guys very much for your support. don't feel like you know you can use this technique of shortening the muscle in a smaller area you don't have to work your way all the way up the entirety of the muscle so if you find a trigger point you can start to kind of own in different areas a little more really important to give your client a few breaks, especially if you're going to spend more time in these hamstrings. I 
dressage usually feels really nice of the in between. And I'm gonna go ahead and do some more detailed work in here. Before I go in with my thumbs, I wanna be sure that it's worth it for me to use my thumbs. So just being really clear about where the trigger points are, where I need to be doing the work. A little bit of that more precise thumb work can go a long way. You don't need to do a lot of it to, to be effective. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a few more passes. Also, if you're Working on a client who's really struggling and feeling like they want deeper work, but it's really uncomfortable, you can just keep the muscles a little bit shorter, a little less taut. really hard for me to not want to work on the IT band at least a little bit after working on the hamstrings. And just bringing that stroke into the lower leg. This is my favorite place to do petrissage. It just feels like the calves were made for this technique. You can do petrissage a number of ways. You can use both hands and just scoop up these muscles. You can go fast, you can go slow. This is really great for, you wanna work on the gastroc and the soleus. Really good technique. A little bit of shaking can help with any sort of stickiness. Just pulling these muscles away from the tibia. Just creating a little bit more space. I'm gonna bring this technique all the way into this connective tissue that turns into the Achilles. I'm gonna open all this up as well, just stretch it all out. Starting at the base of that Achilles, just working my way up.
using different pacing and different approaches with this petrissage in the same area can feel really satisfying. And I do like to end with just a long effleurage stroke of the whole leg to finish. On the way down, just letting my hands glide across the skin and not trying to apply really any pressure. And that is all for today. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed today's video, you should check out our Patreon page where you'll find some really great content as well. I look forward to seeing you there. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.